Take 20. Yeah, <laughs> oh, this is only take six or something. <laughs> 40 years almost to the day that his father and fellow Marine James Bouchard was severely injured in Vietnam, Marine Sergeant Joshua Bouchard barely survived an explosion in Afghanistan. Like thousands of his fellow servicemen and women of the Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, and other wars, he faces painful recovery, rehabilitation, and lifelong care. My hope for the future is to walk with as little assistance as possible. Joshua will always need help from his family, his fellow veterans in the VA, and from the private organizations that offer vital assistance. One of the veteran support organizations to receive from soldier to soldier proceeds was chosen in Joshua Bouchard's name. Homes for our troops is building me a adaptive house to help me get on with my way of life after the Marine Corps and when I'm done with my therapy. It's a specialized home for, for disabilities, for certain disabilities that he's received in, in uh, Afghanistan. That's what that's all about. Hope that my, my fellow soldiers are awarded the same opportunity that I, am, that I am receiving from homes for our troops. Joshua's mentor died in the attack in southern Afghanistan, and so did his best buddy. Two others of his fellow soldiers were badly injured. The explosion crushed Josh's leg, part of his spine, and his hopes for a normal life, but not his spirit. The struggle for survival didn't end in Iraq, Afghanistan, or Vietnam. For many of us, it continues right here at home. In the field, we rely on each other to build unbreakable friendships. This bracelet symbolizes the commitment we must all continue to have for each other. Thanks for serving, son. Thank you, Dad.